So, this video is going to be a serious one, and there's going to be some trigger warnings for depression and possibly suicide, but this is something that needs to be talked about more, and it needs to be a comfortable conversation. I don't like to talk about it a lot with you guys, because I don't want to bring down the conversation. And I'm not looking for sympathy. That's mostly why I don't say anything, because I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for a hug. I'm not anything. But sometimes I need to just, I need to tell someone, I'm in a down period right now, because oftentimes I have thoughts of suicide in my down period. And I've promised myself and I've promised other people that's not something that'll ever happen. But that doesn't mean that the thoughts are not there. That it wouldn't just be easier if I wasn't conscious. The thing is, is I probably wouldn't be able to make a video like this if I had to edit it. I'm not editing this. I have been feeling a little down lately and I'm starting to come out of it. But it's extremely hard because you sometimes forget yourself that it is depression that is making you feel the way you are feeling. Because someone from the outside could easily look at you and be like, you're just being lazy. Just just get off, off your butt and do the things. I wish it was just that easy to like find the motivation to get out of bed, to leave my apartment, and go do the things I need to do. But instead, I have no motivation to do anything. I don't have motivation to do my schoolwork or go to class. Uh, I go to work because I have to. Like, the consequences of that far outweigh anything else. I want to go to class. I want to do my schoolwork. I want to write a good paper. But then there's something else that's there that's just, like, the focus is just not there. And you get angry with yourself and frustrated with yourself because you think to yourself, self, why can't you just do the things you need to do? And even myself, I don't know why I can't just do the things I need to do. It's frustrating. Of course, it's harder in the winter months because there's the whole sun issue and vitamin D, but I have depressive states in the summer too. Of course I avoid the sun like the plague because I burn very easily. I have depressive states that I'm just sad um, because I'm frustrated my life isn't going the way I want. Then you start thinking about like maybe you're just just sad. Not, not sad in the sense of just sad, but like your position is just sad. Like, I'm always my own judge. I'm always thinking, why are you so sad? This is, you have nothing to be sad about. Why are you sad? But I am for stupid reasons. And I, I think about it that it's stupid reasons. Yes, I am frustrated about my position in life, that I'm constantly alone. But at the same time, I don't mind being alone, but sometimes it gets to you, you know? As cheesy as it sounds, I guess it does get better. I mean, the down periods go away. I'm, I'm not exactly happy, but I'm not like entirely depressed. <laughs> But that's, that's what I feel like. Even though I know there are plenty of opportunities here, that's what I feel like. And sometimes it gets overwhelmingly frustrating because I, all that I have to do is wait. And not screwing up is hard. All right. Goodbye.
Didn't want to cry. Jeez. Jones has been purring this whole time. <laughs> I'm filming a video. Can you, like, not purr? Seriously. Stop purring. Go away.